I don't want to do any of this. What's going on guys? My name is Jake and this is Your Body Comp Prescription. Hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna be making the last video covering Will Smith's Best Shape of My Life. If you haven't already checked out our breakdowns of episodes one through three, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description to go check those out if you haven't already. But why don't we hop into our finale and start breaking down episodes four, five, and six. All of this is supposed to be set before we step in and start rolling. Yeah. And we're not supposed to step in and start rolling if you haven't figured out how it works. Okay, so. All right, so we're jumping a little bit ahead to midway through the episode. And I picked this clip because it clearly seems like the pressure is starting to get to Will a little bit with that deadline, how much weight that he has to lose within the last couple of weeks. And it looks like that pressure is starting to radiate off him a little bit and it's starting to project onto everyone around him, obviously the film crew because they're always in his face with a bunch of cameras asking him questions. But the main reason that I actually wanted to talk about this is because it's actually a lot more common than you would think because it happens to a lot of people, if not most people, when you're trying to lose weight. When you're trying to lose weight, you obviously need to be in a caloric deficit in order to do that, AKA you get to eat less food, you get less energy. So not only do you get a little bit more irritable because you don't get to eat as much food as you probably would like to. So if you get hangry like I do sometimes, you definitely know that this isn't a good thing. But because most people that are trying to lose weight are trying to lose fat, a lot of times their hormones get out of whack because they're dropping weight so quickly. And what does that mean exactly? When your hormones are out of balance, most of the time, so is your mood. So you're a lot more irritable, you get a lot more angry, you feel a lot more stressed out. And anyone that's ever competed in a bodybuilding show can definitely confirm this, but you don't even have to be a bodybuilding competitor to know that if you've lost weight, a lot of times your mood gets affected by that weight loss. So one of the smaller challenges within the overall goal of trying to lose 20 pounds in 20 weeks Will, his trainer, and a bunch of his buddies wanted to compete in a 5K race, and his goal is to complete a sub 25 minute 5K. But the main reason that I wanted to show you guys this clip right here is because as I was watching, this was the point in the series where I personally started to notice that he was looking a lot leaner. You can tell in his face, his arms, his chest. It looks like his weight loss is starting to materialize a little bit, and other people can start to tell because I know I did. And this is a big milestone during anyone's weight loss journey because when someone else starts to notice your progress, you know you're headed in the right direction. Like how many times has he canceled workouts for the show? Uh, I think he, th this week's different. I think a lot of the times like he's been monitoring, you know, his fatigue. Right. And, and so like there's a bit of wisdom in, you know, taking rest days here and there because okay. um, we can, you know, flip the schedule in terms of the days off. But this week, it's not, not about that. And as we keep going throughout this episode, we find out that Will is missing more and more training sessions. But the main reason that I picked this clip out is because I really liked how Will's trainer, Aaron, was talking about being able to switch around rest days and work around all the physical obstacles, mental obstacles, because I think there's a lot of people who may be a little bit less experienced in the gym with weight loss that think that they absolutely need to show up every single day to do cardio, weights, just to lose some weight. And in my other episodes, we've already talked about overtraining and it looks like this is really coming to fruition because we can see that as time is progressing, Will is getting a little bit more stressed out. He's becoming a lot more fatigued. The physical battle of this challenge is starting to get to him a lot more. And I think there's a lot of people out there that don't realize that there is a lot of wisdom in taking a rest day because your body needs to repair itself. And if you're constantly beating it down to the ground, it can never rebuild itself. And it's gonna make it really hard for you to stay in over a long period of time. We blew it. We missed it. It's over and we gotta stop and I'm ready to stop. And we're gonna take that one step further because we find out that Will is actually done with the best shape of my life. You can tell that his priorities are no longer on losing a certain amount of weight in a certain amount of time. His priority at this moment is the book. And I think that the mental side is really trying to take over because his mental health is starting to deteriorate, deteriorate, excuse me. And it looks like he's having trouble balancing his priorities. And unfortunately for us in this breakdown, we're not gonna have too much else to talk about on the fitness side of things. But there are a couple more points that I want to talk about in the remaining episodes. Will is really, in a very real way, committing to the idea that he cannot sacrifice his mental health in the name of these other sorts of journeys that he wants to go on. Because let me tell you, on mental health, there's not as many second chances. 
So this point right here is really important because I think that a lot of people who are really trying to aggressively change something about their physique, they start running into these mental roadblocks that they may have not been faced with before, and they start developing poor relationships with the gym, with their nutrition, and with their health in general. And unfortunately for all of us gym rats and health freaks, how we train, how we look, and how we eat are not the only things that matter. We have responsibilities like our job and our families and everything else that comes into our life, not just fitness. And by no means am I a mental health expert, but in my years of experience training all of my clients, I've come to the understanding that health and fitness should be a top priority, but it cannot be your only priority. And sometimes we have to take a couple of days off from the gym because there are other things that are important in our lives. So I was a bit shocked when I found out that Will was gonna be done with the show, but I do think he made the right decision. Will quitting the show may look like a failure to a lot of people, but there's actually another way to look at it as a breakthrough. Perhaps for the first time, Will is choosing himself. So I completely agree. I wouldn't be surprised if there were a lot of people who were following this series, who are fans of Will Smith, who took the news of Will quitting this series as a failure. But you have to consider that there was another goal in mind for this show. Obviously, yes, he wanted to lose 20 pounds in 20 weeks and he didn't get that done. But the main reason that Will wanted to do this is because he noticed that he was becoming unhealthy and he was the unhealthiest that he had ever become. And I think the decision that he made to quit this show after all of the progress that he's made, I think it shows a lot of maturity and growth towards his mindset about being healthy in general. And not just losing weight because health means more than just losing a couple of pounds. I'm happy for him. I don't think things went exactly as planned, but it's about peace of mind, isn't it? Like we're all trying to find that, I think. So plans change. And that happens all the time, especially with fitness. Sometimes when you set out to achieve a specific goal, especially one with a deadline, as the days pass, as the weeks pass, you start to identify some other goals that you have in mind as well. And that happens because you're learning more about yourself, about what you like, what you dislike, and identifying those new goals along the way is helping to build those habits that we hope to keep over time. So like we just said, Will may not have achieved losing 20 pounds in 20 weeks, but from the start of the show till now, I would say he's a much healthier person and he has a lot better foundation to go off of. So now his overall health has become a lot more consistent of a priority as opposed to just losing some weight. And to wrap things up, I think this series was great because not only did we get to learn more about someone we all know, but we got a lot of real examples of what happens to someone as they try and make healthy lifestyle changes. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown series of Best Shape of My Life because it was a blast to make. And please go check out my other breakdown videos if you haven't already on episodes one through three. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I'm gonna let Will be the closing clip. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Sometimes achieving the actual goal earns you almost nothing but the journey itself teaches you everything you need to know.